But the music is ready, though. I'm excited. Who's on yeah, it? The music is ready. The music is ready. Uh, well, the first mixtape is uh, with me and, me and Choice. Me and Choice. Uh, come on, baby. Oh. She wants to be part of the interview. Yeah. So it's me and Choice. It's me and Choice on the first mixtape. And then the second one, I got a... Uh... Stop, baby. And then the second one, I got, like, you know, a few, uh, a few young cats that's coming up. I've been in the studio with a lot of young cats. Uh, one Take J, uh, Ruchi, for sure. Uh, Kaylin, for real. I've been in the studio with him. Uh, Yellow Hill. Um, I ain't get one. I ain't get, get one in with Crook One yet, so I'm going to rock with him. Uh, I just been trying to tap into the young artists. Mm -hmm. I like their flow right now. I like I like their vibe. So I've been I trying to tap that. in. With them. But uh, other than that, just working on the album. The album's crazy. That one sounded crazy. But as mm -hmm. far as the quarantine ain't going, like shit, we ain't, we just been chilling. <laughs> We just been chilling, watching cartoons, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know it's their hour. It's it's the kids' hour right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Have you been yeah. going crazy yet? Like I can't stay in the house for too long. I gotta like take a lap around the block or something. Uh, I ain't going crazy. <laughs> I ain't going crazy. I'm chilling. I feel like it, you're lying. <laughs> it, you know, you know, kids. Kids got their way of bringing out that other kid. That you know what I mean. That Bringing that, uh, bringing out that, uh, that daddy in me, but, uh, uh -huh. you know, you know, I feel know. like you are more connected with the cartoons right now than she is. You said you turned the no, cartoons right off. here. I'm just trying to, yeah, I'm just, you know, watching it. <laughs> I'm just, watch I got to though, you know, sometimes you gotta be like, uh, sometimes you gotta be like watching what they, what, the, what they watch. You know what I'm saying? Cause people Why? be trying to sneak, yeah, sneak so little messages in their cartoons and shit. That's out. Yeah, we can't have that. Yeah, that's out. So you know how I mean? many songs? How many songs do you have on the album so far? On the album right now, I got four records done. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm you building. It, I'm building it piece by piece, like song by song. The album. The album, like uh. It's like a, a, you know, a part of my life that I, uh, a chapter in my life that I tapped into. So, it's cool. <laughs> it's gonna be great. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm putting out nothing but fire right now. I can't wait. Fire. I just gotta play that motherfucker. Gotta just spin them over the back to back. You said what? I just gotta spin them back to back. Somebody said the cartoons be gay as shit. <laughs> Look, you have to be careful with cartoons. <laughs> They said, uh, you did a rough draft on your story. You're dropping that on the mixtape or album. What? what they say? I guess you did a rough draft on your Instagram story. Was that your mixtape or your album that you were playing? I don't like remember. You know, I don't album. remember. They said, Goodbye. when are we getting a project preview? I'm gonna give you some. I'm gonna give them some fast shit uh, coming real soon. Rich off Mac at two. That's coming real soon. Ooh. Real soon. Real soon. I love when artists say "real soon." What is "real soon"? I don't know. It could be next week. It could be tomorrow. It could be <laughs> in a month. Shit. You are a fool. You were saying earlier that you have been working with a lot of the younger artists. Who's been right. like your favorite so far to work with? All of them. I like I like the whole young movement right now. I like what they do, and I like I like the unity and mm -hmm. and all the young artists that's going on right now. Everybody really fucking with each other. I guess they got that that southern feel to them, that southern vibe to them. You know when uh uh how the south be, how everybody look at the south and Atlanta and shit like that. Like everybody uh -huh. sit together. That's what the young that's what the young cats is doing right now, and I always wanted to do that. So, so uh, me being like a big homie, like a big bro to a lot of niggas, I just really got to try to tap in, uh, to, you know, and rock with a lot of uh, young young niggas because you know they be needing that, and I be needing it too. It's a good vibe, but uh, you know, Kaylin, I just did some, I just made a hit with him. Um, 
Ruchi, you know, that's always he always fun to work with. Uh, one take, I didn't get in the lab with one take, but he had sent me some fire. One take, Ooh. Jay, and that was, shit was fire. Shout out, uh, uh, Quan too. But uh, uh, oh, Frosty, I got to get something in with Frosty. Uh, who else? That's a gang of young, young niggas, man. Do you yeah. feel like they look up to you? Yeah. 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 Have you been their mentor? I give knowledge. It don't matter, young or old. I'm gonna give you knowledge. Young or old, I'm gonna give you knowledge. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what my point, give you my point of view on what it should be. You know. And uh, yeah, I give game every time I I'm around somebody. I I drop jewels. So that's what it's about. You ain't, you ain't supposed to keep knowledge in. You're supposed to uh, you know, dish it out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It comes in and it goes out. It's, that's how that's how it flows. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta you gotta let it go. But yeah, it's for sure. Boring. What have you been telling them? Uh, shit. You know, it all depends on what the mood is. It all depends <laughs> on you know what we're talking about. I don't. It's nothing specific. I don't have like a. <laughs> I don't got like you know like a uh, like a pamphlet. Or like a you know a manual that I just go in this go in the lab with a wit you know what I'm saying, but whatever the to- whatever the uh, the conversation is about, well whatever we, we converse about, you know I just give them details about it, and I I know I've been around the world so I know a lot of people want to hear what I got to say. They see me grow, they see me, they see me go through you know trials and tribulations. They see my you know triumph, and you know they see me deal with a label, and they and they um you know they see me. Be independent and get signed to a label and then be independent again. You know, that's where I'm at right now with Empire. So, mm-hmm. you know, they see that shit. So, you know, they want to know what it's like. And, 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 you know, I give it to them. I let them know what it is. I let them do do's and don'ts on what I do and what I don't do, what I should have did and what I shouldn't do. Mm-hmm. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just game. I, a lot of people give me game. Like when I be around Snoop. Or I be around thug, you know, they give me game. They never hold the game back neither though. Like, you feel me? You ask them anything, they're gonna tell you, they're gonna let you know. And they, you know, super mega stars. So if they can do it, you know, shit, why well, I can't do it. That's how I look at the game. Absolutely. Well, what has Snoop told you? Snoop. Snoop told me a gang of shit. I remember I went to the uh GG, I went to the uh to the compound and you know what I'm saying, chill with Snoop for a little bit. And he told me, like, I should be doing that. He told me I should have a network, radio, and doing shit like that. So I've been thinking about it, but, you know. You've been thinking about it. you got all the time in the world thinking about it now. Yeah, I got, I've been having time. I stay, I stay thinking about this shit. I, I'm writing a movie right now. Ooh. What mm-hmm. is it based on, your life? Rich off Mackie, getting rich. Rich off Mackie. I love how he smiles at the end, guys. Someone, <laughs> sorry, man. They just called me. Um, they said, "Is this album gonna be one of your favorite ones?" <clears throat> yep. I got a title and everything, but I'm not giving nothing up right now. Mm-mm-mm. We can't uh, get the title. Mm mm. We can't get the title. Mm-mm. You got Rich Off Mac and coming. Uh, that's what we need to focus on. Rich Off Mac and too. We need to focus on that because it's with me and Choice. Royce the Choice is his full name. And uh, he he the hardest rapper, lyricist uh, in America. And I'm and I'm a beast. You feel me? I'm going to make a song. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to you. I can rap circles around niggas. But... You know, Choice is like the hardest rapper a lot. And I think people need to see that more. Mm. So I had to go, you know, I had to reach out to my boy, tap in with him, get back in the, uh, get, get back in the ring. And yeah. uh, go crazy. And we we recorded that shit. We, it took us like a week to record the uh, mixtape. But, you know, it's the business side and, you know, mixing and mastering that you got to, you know, finish and complete. So that's what's taking that so long. What's the fastest? What, what is the fastest that you 
say that you recorded the song. Recorded the song? Yeah. Shit, probably like five minutes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, they... Yeah, they know me. They know what's up with it coming to me. I, I don't play when it comes to that music. But not every song is, uh, you know, that fast, though. Right. You know, sometimes you get songs that you just got to, like, you know, uh, sometimes you get songs and you got to, like, uh, you know, butter them, doctor them up and shit. You got to make sure they're right. But butter some, them up. Some songs, some songs you got to, you just, you know, get right to it. Someone said, how do you get your name up when you're first starting? How do I what? How do you get your name up in the industry when you're first starting? Uh, I don't know. It's God. Facts. I didn't. Facts. I couldn't. I, I can only tell you. Heart I, can only, I, I can only tell you how. I can only tell you, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's God and, like, you know, the people you associate with, they got to believe in you. Absolutely. You know, they gotta believe in you. Everybody gotta, you know, fan your flame. Mm-hmm. Everybody around you gotta fan your flame. And it's gonna be some time when you get discouraged and you don't feel like you can do it no more. It's like, man, I ain't doing this shit. Because, like, people think, you know, I came up overnight. But it's not, it's a journey. I can see the journey, right. It's a journey. What to do, mm -hmm. I would advise them to, you know, document that come up and document mm -hmm. that, you know, put it on film with mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, all all the, you know, uh, the backstory. I would advise them to, like, film it, document it, make sure they put they, if they want to do this rap shit, you know, put their shit on, put their... Ah! They backstory, put their life on the camera. Like all the times you in the studio pulling up to concerts, all yep. the all the behind the scenes shit when you not even looked at. Do that shit. Just just try you know what I mean? Have somebody right there with with their camera with their phone, they they camera phone and just record you. Cause one day you gonna wanna, you know, look back at that shit and the people gonna want to see that shit. Wise words from RJ, although he's not looking at me. <laughs> oh, man, shit. I'm interviewing and he's like looking at the cartoons. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> RJ, I appreciate you for talking to me. I don't have to cut the interview short. I got to get back on air. But Good I appreciate you. Stay safe and always, you know, love to you and your family.